What's going on guys? Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with yet another quick Hackintosh tip for you. This video is going to cover using software update versus a combo update to update your Hackintosh. So uh, right off the bat I want to come up here to about this Mac and as you can see I am running 10.8. But for the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and pretend this says 10.7 and we're running Lion. Now, as of this video, we're actually up to 10.7.4, which, you know, is sort of, if you're coming from a Windows world, is sort of like a service pack. Apple just releases little bug fixes or security patches, or even like in 10.7.3, they added iCloud support. So these are definitely updates that you do want to install. However, there are two ways to get them. The first one is very simple. You simply come up here and come up to Software Update. Now on Lion, uh, when you click this, the App Store will not come up on Mountain Lion. This is how all updates are handled, is through the Mac App Store, as you can see I actually have one right here. But on Lion, you'll simply be greeted with a, you know, checking for software little menu here. And once it's done checking, it'll actually come up with the update for you. The other way to update OS X is to actually go on Google and search for even just Combo Update. As you can see right here, I actually found it. It's 10.7.4 combo update and you can simply download it right here. Now there's pros and there's cons to doing each of these. I'll go ahead and I'll start off with software update. So when using software update and once again that's coming up here to the Apple logo and coming to software update it's obviously pretty easy. There's no googling involved. You don't even have to open up a web browser. It's just right here. You click it, you download it and you're good to go. And actually what software update is, is it's actually sort of a delta update. You're not downloading the full uh, like right here combo update. So what that means, Delta update from like a combo update, Delta updates basically just download what's missing or that what is new in the update rather than downloading the whole upgrade itself. So here's probably the easiest way I can put it. Say for example I'm on 10.7.3 and I want to update to 10.7.4 it's only going to download what's changed from 10.7.3 to 10.7.4. When downloading a combo update, it's going to just download the entire update, as if I'm trying to update from 10.7 to 10.7.4. And of course, this yields a smaller download size and therefore a faster download. Another pro to using the software update is that it's more of an Apple experience. I mean, if you get a Mac, that's all you have to do. You can still download the combo update. However, on a Mac, it's really just not necessary. And if you really just want, you know, the Apple experience, then software update, like I said, it just makes things much easier. So moving on to the combo update, the biggest pro that I can really think of is that you can actually keep these downloaded and save them for future use. So let's say, for example, I have my OS X stuff folder here. And as you can see, I actually have on my hard drive archived 10.7.2, 10.7.3, 10.7.4. So my UniBeast image is actually 10.7. It's just the original one that I bought like a year ago from the App Store. So when I install that, rather than having to come up to software update, re-download 10.7.4 and install it, I already have it done. So I can just double click this and it'll run without having to download anything extra. So if you're someone that likes to restore their computer often or you know they help their friends out getting their systems up and running, rather than having to keep download these updates and just download waste time over and over again, simply just get the combo update once and you'll have it for as long as you keep it backed up. And usually what I do when a new update is released, I do do the um, software update version and then once I'm on that and everything runs great, then I'll go to Apple's website and I'll download it for future use. So I kind of get the best of both worlds there. I get the Apple experience, you know, the ease of just coming up the software update, as well as later on just storing it for future use. Now what I just said can be said for either Macs or Hackintoshes, but what's different on a Hackintosh is that whenever you update your system, let's say from 10.7.3 to 10.7.4, it's very likely that you will lose something, whether it's network or audio. For example, whenever I update, do a combo update or a software update from one OS to the next, I will lose audio, and that's pretty much everybody. I think everybody loses audio when upgrading, and it's very simple to fix. All you have to do is simply come up here to MultiBeast, run multi-beast and install you know the selected audio driver whichever one you need uh, for me I just come down here do patched HDA ALC 889 and I'm good to go after a reboot now one thing to keep in mind here is that if you do a software update you will not get the chance to run multi-beast before it installs because once the, the software update downloads you have to restart your computer before it'll start the installation this means that if something is in that update that is that could cause problems, maybe kernel panics, then you'll likely have to restore because you won't have the opportunity to get in there and fix what's wrong in MultiBeast before having to restart. When running a combo update, you actually just run like, say for example like this, like a PKG file. It just installs, and when it's done installing, you actually don't have to reboot right away. You can get in here inside MultiBeast and just reinstall your audio and whatever else you'll need. 
before restarting your computer and therefore it's much more likely that the next time you boot up things will work perfectly for you. So at the end of the day I recommend downloading the combo update right from Apple, being able to store these for future use and simply having the full combo update usually does yield better results. However if you're someone like me that likes the Apple experience and wants your Hackintosh to be as, as close to a Mac as humanly possible, then go ahead and do the software update and cross your fingers. And if you're like me, you know, I've had my system for coming up on two years now, and I tend to know my hardware pretty well and what, what works and what doesn't after an update. So I'm very comfortable with coming up here, running software update and being totally up to date. But if you're new to your computer, maybe you just built your Hackintosh, you're not that familiar with your software on the Hackintosh yet, maybe your hardware. You definitely want to get started off just using the combo updates. And while the download may be a little bit bigger, like I said, it's very nice to be able to just store them, archive them, back them up somewhere so that you can use them in the future. So I hope this video helped you guys on deciding whether to use software update or combo update. Like I said, Apple Experience, go for software update or you know to play it safe or to have them for future use, I would go with the combo. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPUK on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. And I'll see you guys in my next quick Hackintosh tip.